Joseph, uh, congratulations on a stunning performance there. How much of a distraction is it when people actually interview you that they center on the fact that you're the last person to beat Conor McGregor? And how much of it does it actually take away from a performance like tonight, which actually shows you are, you know, a, a solid performer? Tell you the truth, I, uh, I don't really concentrate too much on that. You know, I, I just go out and do my own thing. and. Um, you know, I know in time I'm going to keep putting in them performances and, and people will, you know, they'll take note. And much like when Conor came into the UFC, a lot of people thought because the European level is so good, you're better than a lot of the entry level guys. Uh, Dustin Poirier last week said he'd love to fight in Dublin. I think guys like Dustin Poirier, Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, you against any of those guys in Dublin would be great co-main or main event. I'd just like to get your thoughts on it. You know, of course, that, that's what we're in the game for. You know, we're we're here to fight the top guys in the world. So, um, you know, whoever they put in front of me next, you know, uh, I can't wait to be there, and I'll be glad to be on that Dublin card, whoever it is. Uh, Joe, this time eighteen months ago, you announced your return to mixed martial arts, and it's fair to say there was a lot of uh, kind of speculation about how that return would pan out. Uh, you've come back with four stoppage victories, and just wondering, is that how you always saw it going, or did you ever? Doubt yourself as in when you announce your return, do you always see yourself storming the UFC and making such progress? I suppose even since a teenager, I always see myself in the UFC. Um, <clears throat> coming back, I, I had them doubts. Obviously, you know, after spending a bit of time in boxing, you know, I wasn't sure how far I fell behind. Um, you know, but I've been out in TriStar and I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm making up the making up the lost ground pretty quick. So, you know, I, I didn't think it would have, would have turned out as, as well as it has, but, you know, I, I'm confident it's, it's only going to get better. And uh, after a performance like tonight, is that a, making a statement for yourself to headline Dublin? <laughs> you know, that's a dream come true. You know, if I'm headline Dublin, you know, that, that's the kind of fights I want to be in. With the fallout of, of Josie Aldo, you tweeted about the replacing Jose Aldo against Conor McGregor. And uh, moreover, Fia Sahabi said last time that you were maybe dropping down to featherweight. What's the plan? Are you staying at lightweight or do you want to jump down at featherweight? Uh, no, I'm going to stay at 155. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable here. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I, I can improve my nutrition, <coughs> nutrition a little bit. So, um, you know, I, I think this weight is perfect for me.